everybody this is violet charm and i'm here with a very special unboxing of sacred vibes the sacred wheel 12 days of yule this is their yule box from sacred vibes from gypsy uh, if you don't know her please check out her store she has wonderful things and um you just got this today so i'm very excited and again, this is like the second box I get. I got the Samhain, I got the Yule, and I don't know why I've like been through so much stress with my post people, just not getting the package on time or it's somewhere else or the updates are wrong. But anyway, it got here, so I'm so happy. So hopefully next year, if I do this again, it will be have you know we'll have smooth sailing. So let's get into it. It came in a big white mailer. And, um, okay, I think, oh, I forgot to cut this open, this piece. Let's see if I can do this with one, one hand. Give me, I'm going to have to put this down so that I can um, open it a little bit better. Give me a second. The little cup. I should have got my little scissors ready. For some reason, I thought this was in case up here. But it was, and I'm not prepared. So feel free to forward this little section of me trying to get into the box. And here we go. So let's give you a first look of me opening this box inside. Here we go. Oh, what is this? So inside is a paper. <sighs> like a poem or something. And it says, in the quiet of the hush of Yule's embrace, where winter chill, winter's chill adorns each space, candles flicker a mystic dance, igniting magic sweet romance. Amidst the longest, darkest night, soft flames whisper secret bright, Yule's enchantment, a gentle call, ignites the fire within us all. A single candle flame so pure, a conduit of realms obscure, Oh my god, this is so beautiful. It's beautiful, but I don't want to keep reading the whole thing. So I'm just going to hold it here. So you can screenshot this. And you can read it on your own. I'll try to get a little closer if I can. There you go. Very nice. Okay, so what's in this box? Oh my god, I'm so excited. So this is some of the paper inserts. And we have here Yule, a Yule ritual. And she has it in this um, folder for, to keep it, everything protected. So, and there's a couple things in here. Let's see if I can get this out. Well, I'm going to put the phone over here. All right, so we have the you ritual. There's quite a few things in here, actually. And then we have this two-sided Yule prayer, correspond correspondences, altar and magic work, Yule. Oh, look at this, how cute. The winter solstice Yule stag. We can see this. Let me pick up the phone. There. And then the Yule spell. And off the back of that. And then more Yule spells. And that is the back of that. Again, more Yule spells. So it's a lot of spells. And then Yule witch ball ingredients. Ooh, are we going to be making a witch ball? <gasps> so exciting. I don't have one. Um, Yule witch Wish witch ball. So that's what that is here. The incantation. Am I just like telling you everything that's in the box? Maybe, perhaps. Magical items. So I'll leave that later. And then the continuation of that. What's in the back of this? All right. So lots and lots of paperwork. I will have to go through all of that. I have some time. So now we have some tissue paper, 
pretty snowflakes and they're blue. Really pretty. Okay, we have this snowflake little envelope. What is this? Let's see. Pulling it out. Oh, it's like my little oracle card. Oh, my, nope, it's a tarot card. The Christmas one. I know this deck. This is so cute. And I got the hangman. Oh, so cute. Okay. Let's put this to the side. Okay, so let's get in here. Ooh, already off the back. I can see a lot of nice little things. Give me a little sneak peek of what's in here. What's this? So this is some kind of a stand. This is like a candle stand. What's this? Looks like it's a little off center, the sticker or whatever this felt thing is. But I could just probably trim that. Not sure what this is. This is a, it says prevent fire. So I'm thinking this is a candle stand. And I don't think you take this off. I think it's just, it wasn't centered right. Yeah, this is, the felt wasn't centered right, but I can just trim the, the excess off. Okay. And I know what this is. Oh God, now I have two Yule trees. This is a Yule tree. I got the, I got a Yule tree in my other box. So it's like a winter branch. All the winter branches. And then it lights up. So there's a base to this. You connect it and then you straighten out the the branches and then you have a yule tree so hey now i got the now i got a pair put one on each side very nice and this is the base there it goes so that's the base to that um this one actually might be a little bit better quality and this ooh, what is this i gotta get into this give me one sec put the phone down what is this Let's see. This is Harmonia Gem Spray Clarity Crystal. If we can see this. That's what that is. Is it like the germ spray? Oh, sorry. I said germ. It's gem spray. So I guess this is to clear cleanse and clear your crystals this is interesting never had a gem clearing crystal spray this is really nice um essential oil demineralized water okay so shake shake gently hold upright <clears throat> center of the room press and pump Okay, so that's that. So we got that. I'm oh, sorry, dropped it. So we got this. Put that to the side. Then we got this. Not sure what this is. Let's open it up. I like the cute little bag round like spiral is it a piece of wood it's a piece of wood it's an ornament for my yule tree well that's appropriate that's so nice and it says blessed yule and it has some engravings there like a vine or something with a star and a bow like very very Christmassy, very nice, and it has like um the rune here. I'm not sure which one that is. And the twine. Like this very much. And is there anything else in here? Oh yep, yep, yep. There's a little you'll go. This is my second one. I got one just like it too on the other box. So I've got my little you'll go. Love it. Okay, now I have two and I can hang them up on my tree. What is this? We got this envelope too with the little star sticker. Let's see. Let's 
open for you real quick. Oh, these are candles in here. All right, so there are two candles in here. So we have a blue and a white candle. There you go, blue and white wax candles minis. So I'm assuming this is part of a spell. And there's more stuff in here. Let's take a look. There's a like ribbon. There's two ribbons. Ooh, looks like we're going to be doing some stuff. Okay, this is a ritual. I'm not sure what kind of ritual it is. This is a cord cutting ritual. Yeah, sometimes we need to let things go, right? So this is a cord cutting ritual and it tells you how to do it. So yeah, Gypsy tells you all the steps. Give you all the ingredients that you need, all the material. So that's really nice. So we'll put the cord cutting ritual to the side. Then we have... Ooh, what is this? I'm not sure what this is. I love all the blue and white snowflakes. Or the blue snowflakes. Okay. Really nice. Is this soap? Nope, it's not. It's wood. <gasps> oh, I love. Oh, look at this. It's like a little miniature um, U log almost with the. Oh, I don't even want to burn it. It's so pretty. It's a snow snowflake tea candle, tea light candle. So it's a tea light candle holder. So to me, this is like a little U log, a miniature one. And it's just a piece of wood, the half of it. And it's so pretty. Let me see. It doesn't smell like anything, but it's really cute. Okay, put that to the side. And um, next thing I grabbed here is this pretty bracelet. It looks like Moonstone. Let's open this up. Okay. If I could. I'm trying to open this up. One sec. Okay. Here we go. Pretty moonstone. Very nice. And it's like the smaller bead as well. Love it. Nice stretchy cord. And I'm going to put this right on. Along with my malachite. They're just like piling up I'm not gonna have any more arm space to like put stuff on okay then we have this Ooh, I think I like resting the phone right here so I can have two hands available what is in here oh this is like a herb an herb jar no a oh, frankincense and myrrh yeah look at this very festive, very Yule time, very Christmassy. Love it. Who doesn't like frankincense and myrrh? I don't know anyone, but I love it. Nice little jar. It's small, but it looks like it's resin. Oh, I think that's called resin. I'm not sure. All right, we'll put that to the side. Now we have this little jar of mullein spice okay and I want to know what it smells like okay, so I can bring this to a boil look simmer organic cranberries cinnamon apples roasted cloves lemon peel orange peel calendula brew as a tea or use for mulled wine or cider Ooh, I'm going to enjoy this I gotta smell this. Hold on. Mmm, smells really nice. Orange, dusty. Love it. Okay, what else is in here? What's this? Oh, look at this. It's like a little green winter forest in here. In the box. A miniature or something. Okay, it has a snowflake. Like, what's the easiest way to get into this? I guess I'm gonna have to peel this off. Pretty sure you have a scissor to 
open this easier. But that's okay. We'll make two, right? And here we go. Let's look in here. Oh, look, we have some moss. And there's some pretty stones. Ooh. These are carving. This is how light. I'm pretty sure this is how light. And check this out. This is carved in the shape of a little gift, a little present. That's that one. And then this one. Oh my god, I love it. Not sure what kind of stone this is. Blue calcite? Calcitney? I'm not sure. But this is like a little Christmas tree or Yule tree. I love this. This is so cute. How adorable is that? Along with the little Spanish moss. So pretty. Oh my god, this is nice. I'm loving this box so far. Okay, that's that. We have so many things still in here. Alright, we have this. It's a little and it's like another um, candle holder for a tapered candle with the wreath. Little stand. This is um faux, but it's so pretty. I love this. This is really cute with the pentacle, with the star, with the twigs that kind of hand. Um, I forgot what's the name of this. When they do it by hand, somebody knows the name. You can let me know. But the star was made by hand. It looks like with the twigs. Really nice wrapping that over here are you really feeling like I'm feeling the the vibes the Yule vibes okay and then we have oh I wonder if this is no this I don't know if this is part of something the pine the singular pine cone but I love it and I'm going to make it part of something I don't know if it was part of the candelabra maybe you're supposed to put it next to it but I'm going to read about it I'm sure it, I'm sure it gets explained and this, well, I'll put that later because that's big. What is this? Oh, this is the witch ball, the Yule witch ball kit. It has reindeer moss, reindeer moss, grounding mistletoe, fertility protection, orange peel, joy, pros positivity, cinnamon abundance. Infuse this witch ball with the power of your intentions. Oh, I'm so excited to get this. I don't have a witch ball. I was, I'm telling you, I feel like when you set your intentions or you just put your thoughts out there and they're positive and they're, you know, pure of heart kind of stuff, I think the universe just gives you stuff. Because I was thinking, I was just saying, telling to myself, like, I really wish that somebody gives me a witch, uh, a witch ball. I don't have one. And I've been eyeballing them online on Etsy and just thinking about getting my own. So this is what it looks like inside. There's two little pine cones to have and then I got one I just didn't want to buy one there's so many pretty ones I couldn't decide and here I am look gypsy gave me one and there's cinnamon and there's all the ingredients that you need are in here so we got the moss the reindeer moss she says she calls it and this is mistletoe oh my god this is so cute like everything is in here and the orange peel. I love this. I thank you, Gypsy. I totally love it. I think this box so far is like so worth it. You know, again, sometimes it's not about like getting expensive pieces. It's just the creativity and all the effort and the themes. You know, all that stuff that gets put into the into, into her boxes. It's just really special to me. That's why I got this one. And um, I think I'm going to do it again next year. So we got this. Looks like it's a... Oh, this is a nice pendant. If I can get it open, I think I can. Okay. Let's see. And yeah, definitely check her out at sacredvibes.com. 
Oh, this is pretty. I don't have anything like this. It's like two stones. So it looks like it's a quartz and it's big and it's weighty. It's very chunky. I'm not sure what stone that is. I feel like I should know that. I feel like I have it like in the tip of my tongue and this stone right here. But I'm forgetting. But I'm going to read about it. This is really nice. I love this actually. So this box comes out to a hundred. It's a hundred dollar box. And for me, it was like another like nine, ten dollars in shipping. And that was the total of everything. Like a hundred and nine, a hundred and ten. It wasn't more than a hundred and ten with the shipping and taxes. I think the taxes were already kind of figured in the price. So um, that was beautiful. Then we have a smaller something here. I think it's a candle. I'm not sure. This is going to be a longer video. Oh, it's safe. This is it. Oh, some kind of bundle. Safe bundle. Ooh, look at this. It has some natural got little twigs in here. Look how pretty. I don't want to mess with it too much. I don't want it to fall apart. It looks very fresh, actually. I'll put this to the side. And we're still unrolling. Look, look at this big one. This big, big gift right here. What can this be? It's heavy, whatever this is. All right, open this up. A candle, it's a spell candle. It's definitely a candle, a really pretty candle. And I can put this plastic all through it pretty quickly. I think I can, yes I can. Here we go. So it's a nice big candle. You can see this. The longest night. And it has the witch tear. Yule ritual candle, unscented soy candle, sacred wheel. And it has like a prayer or incantations in the back. Love it, love it. This is really nice. I love this. All right. Mm, okay, I'll put that to the side. Now, before I go to this, I want to open this over here on the side. We have yet another box. Oh my god, this is like the box that keeps on giving. What is this? Okay, I don't know, but we're going to find out together. Okay, what is this? Oh, it's a little chalice. A little cup. I think that's what it is. Oh, this is so pretty. How nice. I'm not sure if it's pewter, but it's silver colored metal. It has some carvings here. So we got this little silver cup, a chalice. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Is there anything else in here? No, it's just. The paper wrapped up. Let's see if I can get it back in here. It's easy to take stuff out. It's hard to put them back together, right? Alright, so let's see. What is this box? This is a big box. Oh my god. We're almost, almost at the end. What is this? I hope it's like humongous wow piece here. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, look. This is a little um, lantern. How cute is this? Okay, so this is a lantern. Let's see if I can get it out. Yes, I can. I can. Of course I can, right? Oh, look at this. And it has my favorite color. Oh, how gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Check this out. And it has the ring on the top so I can hang it up. It has the stained glass window here. And you get that. I can probably open this up. These things are usually open. Well, let's get you around. So that one looks purple. That one looks blue. Oh, yeah, so it looks like it's purple and blue stained glass. Yeah. And... 
can I open this? Does it open that way? I don't know. Let me put it down for a second. Ugh. How do I open this? Is this way? Oh, there we go. So, yep, it is purple and blue glass. And then that's the inside. And you put your tea light in here. This is really pretty. I, I love this. I love this. So nice. There we go. We have some lights. Love this. So nice. Okay. And now, let's see what this was all about. This is a tray. Let me give you a better look. So this is a tray. A silver tray. And there's a card in here. Some tea lights. And it's in this big organza bag, which I love. These bags so you can reuse them. And there's also this nice tapestry in here. So let's um, open this up. And see, because this is like the end of the bag, pretty much. Of the box. One more. Oh, I don't want to break it. I'm trying not to pull it. Don't want to break it, but... It seems to be a little tiny knot here that I'm trying to undo without destroying the back. I think I got it here. Let's see. Try not to be rough. I tend to be a little heavy handed with stuff. Okay. Um, feel free to fast forward. <laughs> I'm just around. I got it. Okay, good. Okay. So, I didn't break the bag. Woohoo! Lots <clears throat> and lots of tea light candles. Yes, thank you for this. So, I can have endless, or I shouldn't say endless, but a long time use without having to run out and having to buy some more candles for my lantern. And then we have this 12 Days of Yule envelope card I'm not sure what this is let's open it up oh look the first day so she's giving you the 12 days it looks the 12 cards one um, secret to Frig Freya and the Sierra mother of night mm-hmm the second day so there's a whole bunch of cards all the way from the first, fourth, yeah. Yep, all the way to the twelfth day. Every day is different. Night of both. Very nice. Oh, this is nice. I have to, I'm telling you, I'm going to be off from work from the 21st all the way to January 3rd. And I'm going to be so entertained. I have so many things to do and to read. For a long long time between all the boxes now this is the candle dressing herbs a selection of herbs to adorn your candles with purposeful intent a little box okay we'll try to get in here let's see come on open up okay so, oh, how cute. These are a whole bunch of little bottles. This sign says the candle dressing herbs. So in here in this kit, there's orange peel for joy, calendula for hope, mistletoe for fertility, mugwort for divination, peppermint clarity, hawthorn for guidance, cinnamon for abundance, dragon's blood, I love dragon's blood for banish, um, juniper berries for protection, echinacea, fatality, rubbed stage, for purification and rosebuds for love. This is for the says sacred wheel, and here it is on this other side. All the herbs that we just um, went through. So nice. There you go. That's so pretty. Love it. Okay, and then the actual little tray. Let me give you a better look at this. So this is the actual tray. Very nice. I love it. I have never gotten a tray. My first little tray. So I have my little offering plate. 
and uh, that's really nice and useful lots of stuff you can do with that so let's put this all back in here put it back in here love that very nice i'm very happy with this box actually let's put this in here and then the last thing that i see in here is this tapestry like a altar tap oh how you're gonna love this it's so nice it's a yule winter stag look at that wow how pretty is this altar cloth i don't know if i can somehow stand it up i will i will try let's see what i can do here without breaking everything let's see how much i can get in here all right that's a pretty good shot i think see if i don't knock it over so that's the face this is really nice if you guys can see this love it so this was sacred vibes her yule box december 2023 check her out and i hope that you loved it the same way that i did and um that's it so have a blessed yule i'll see you soon bye bye